Hey, look at this image. Closer. Do you see it? Inside this image, I've hidden a virus. Malware. You probably can't tell, can you? And neither can your computer or most malware detection software. This is steganography, a technique used to embed or hide secret messages and secret files inside stuff like this. Something that isn't secret, something that's kind of just innocent looking. Like who would have thought this had malware inside? Get out of here, malware. So while you could send secret messages hidden inside a picture of your dog to your family and friends, like I'm going to show you how to do in this video, it's really, really fun. My daughters love it. Or you could be a hacker, an espionage focused threat actor targeting Middle Eastern governments by hiding malware inside the Windows logo. That sounds oddly specific. Well, it just happened. And that got me thinking, can I actually hide malware inside of a photo and sneak it past anti-malware software like the sponsor of this video, Bitdefender? We'll try that here in a minute. So here is our mission. We're going to hide this secret message with super secret information inside of this picture. And actually, let's make this a bit more interesting. I'm gonna hide secret coordinates inside this photo. At these coordinates will be a prize, two Apple Watches. I'll send this to my daughters. If they can decode it, they'll get the prize. The hacking tool I'm going to use to hide this message in plain sight is called Steg Hide. It's available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. And in this video, I'll show you how to install it on Linux and Windows. Now, installing Steg Hide is pretty easy. And Linux will launch our terminal. And we'll do a sudo apt update. Give it a moment. Coffee break. Never checked out coffee. And then we'll do a sudo apc install steg hide. We'll do a dash y at the end, and that's it. On Windows, it's even easier. I have a link below. Go and click on that. And in the download section, all you'll do is download the Windows package. We'll then unzip it, extract all, and there's our new folder. I'll go ahead and jump in there. And right here on the steg hide folder, I'll just right click that and say open in terminal. Now, to continue, you'll obviously need a photo. And you'll want a secret message that you can hide inside that photo, which it can be anything. Just make a little text file saying this is a secret. We'll use Stag Hide to hide or embed this message inside the photo. And then we'll send that to our friends and family. Now this is important. In order for them to decode this, they will also need Stag Hide installed on their computer to extract that secret file. So here we go. This will be super quick and easy. So coffee break right now. We'll start with typing in Stag Hide and then embed. And then we'll use the switch dash EF for embedded file. And then after specifying that file, we'll do a dash CF for our cover file. And this will be our photo. And that's pretty much it with one command. We're hiding this secret message inside this photo. And what's crazy is by default, it will compress the secret message or make it smaller and also encrypt it. So we're hiding and encrypting. And I don't know why I did this. I'm sorry. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. And here we can put a passphrase in. So I'll put in something very secret password. And that was it. We're done. Now those commands will be the exact same in Windows. The only difference being the steg hide command will just be steg hide.exe. Now if we take a look at the photo, it doesn't look any different. Like that's the exact same photo. Now let's extract the secret message. We'll start with steg hide once more. And this time instead of embed, we'll type extract. And we'll use the switch dash SF and then the photo. Then I'll hit enter, put in my password, password. And there we go. It's here. The secret message was extracted. So now I'm going to go ahead and rehide my message inside that photo and send it to my daughters. Let's see if they can figure this out. And while they're working on that, let's see if we can actually hide some malware inside a photo, inside this photo, and see if we can bypass Bitdefender. Let's try it out. Now, this is something I recommend you not do. Don't hack anyone for any reason. This right here is for educational purposes only. Anyways, I went out and found some malware on the internet. You can find stuff like that. It's just out there. And I'm going to hide that malware inside this photo. Now, I might have a problem with this because of how steganography works in this example. In our first example, we started with a simple text file. It had like just characters in a text, which is a very small file. We can easily hide that in most photos. But in the case of malware, it's a bit larger than a text file, which means we might have an issue hiding it inside a photo. Now, you might be wondering, well, why is that? Well, it has to do with how steganography will hide a file inside a photo. Commonly, they'll use what's called the LSB or the least significant bit. If you've been watching my subnet series, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But we know that with any image, it's made up of pixels. And each of these pixels will be different colors to bring about that picture. And the computer will often see it as this, represented in binary, the language of computers. They love it. Now, again, the goal of steganography is to hide these files in this photo to where you don't notice it but they do still have to change something to be able to hide it. So here's what they'll do. Let's take that first line of binary right here that makes up red, eight ones. In each of these bytes, they will take the least significant bit, the last one, and just change it. A small change, an insignificant change. And they'll spread the data of that file across the entire photo, changing the pixels to where it's not a big change. Like if you were to like get it under a magnifying glass and like really look at it, you probably figure it out. But who's gonna do that? You're not gonna do that. But just think about how cool that is. They're changing all the pixels code to hide bits and pieces of that data. That is nuts. Now, because we're only storing one little small piece of data in each pixel, we'll need a fairly large cover file. So for example, if our malware was one megabyte, 
terabyte. With LSB, we would need an eight megabyte photo to hide it in. So as you're playing around with steganography, just keep that in mind. You might run into an issue where it's like, hey, the file's too big. You need a bigger cover file. Now, steg hide, it doesn't actually use LSB. You see, LSB, it can be pretty easily detected by computers, by anti-malware software. So Steghide will use something called graph theory, which is way too much this video. That would take about 97 cups of coffee, maybe tomorrow. But the idea, the theory of how it hides is similar to this. And by the way, Steghide, you can use more than just photos. You can actually hide files inside audio, which you know what? I'm gonna do that to my daughters too. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> At the coordinates they go to, I'm gonna have a USB drive with an audio file that also has stuff hidden on it. Yes, that's what I'm doing. So let's hide the malware real quick and see if I can trick Bitdefender. Steg hide, embed. My embed file will be this malware, <laughs> it's long. And my cover file will be the girls.jpg. Now that photo is 1.6 megabytes. The malware, let's see, is eight kilobytes. I should be okay, let's try it out. I'll enter a passcode. Okay, we're good. Malware is now hidden inside that file. And just, just think about that. There's malware in this thing and you would never know. Now in the next step, I wanna take a leaf out of the hacker's book that I mentioned in the first part of the video. I'm going to upload this photo to GitHub. And actually the hackers, they uploaded the photos to like Amazon, which normally Amazon would find malware and like remove it. They won't let you upload malware to Amazon, but they had it hidden inside a photo. <laughs> so it's crazy. You can avoid detection. So I'll upload this photo to Bernard Hackwell's GitHub. Commit those changes, they'll never know. And then on a Windows computer running Bitdefender, I will download that photo. Save image as. Okay, so far so good. I've got the photo on my computer. Now let's use Steghide to extract it and see if Bitdefender will catch that. So I'll use Steghide, I'll extract. I'll specify my file with sf. There's the file. And then at the end, I'll specify a file name with the xf command or switch. And let's see what happens. Password. Oh, wait, look there. Bitdefender got it. It was quick too, like immediately. Oh, and it moved that sucker right into quarantine. So we were able to actually get the photo onto our computer, undetected, but once extracted, Bitdefender was like, no, not today. So since you know that hackers can do something like this, make sure you have Bitdefender to protect you. Bitdefender total security will keep you safe. You already saw it in action. You already saw it in action. It's got antivirus, threat defense, all this other stuff. Things that you don't have time to think about. You just need them to be protected against. And also, hey, I can see you. I'm looking at you right now. Put your coffee down. If you want to stop me from looking at you, <laughs> that was a weird segue, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can have Bitdefender protect your privacy by making sure that your audio and video are not turned on and being accessed by things that shouldn't be accessing them like me. So check out Bitdefender, link below. If you use my link, you'll get Bitdefender premium security for $64.99 a year. Sorry, $64.98 a year. That's $95 off the full price. So check it out. That was weird. Oh, by the way, if you're worried about it slowing down your computer, they got you with that, man. You can change your profile based on what you're doing. If you're working, watching a movie, or just let it run automatically, it'll choose for you based on what you're doing. So you don't have to think about it. Just, just, it's awesome. So let's go check on my girls and see if they actually figured this out. Check your Discord on your computers. Wait, what? It's a video, you listen to it. Hey, I don't wanna do any of this. I don't wanna code. It's not code, it's Linux. I'm not doing this. It's boring and it's weird. Daddy, stop recording. I said stag hide and it did something. Because you have to cl complete the entire command. What was the entire command? Watch the video. I really did it, Daddy. Wait, did, was that the first thing you were supposed to do, stag hide? Ooh, watch the video. I don't want the video again. Can you shut up? What did I not do right? Read it, what does it say? Could uh, not extra any data with that password. Yeah. Daddy, your password's wrong. Is there a new file there? I, no. Yes. Because it says the secret right here. Yeah. Secret. The secret dot. That's a file you have to open. That's that's the open secret. Open it. I can't. <laughs> I'll what? search it. No, 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 no. What do you mean search it? What are you doing? I'm confused. <laughs> what location? It's a house. Baby, a house. it's telling you right there what it is. What? Where's the location? Right there. It says this location. Yeah, and then it gives you something after it. <laughs> Dude, what is that? <laughs> Is it our mailbox or something? Those are GPS coordinates. <laughs> I'm gonna say get help. <laughs> you can't click on anything, honey. It's a terminal. Uh, what's a terminal? So I'm guessing that maybe, just maybe, if you punched in those coordinates into your maps application on your phone, it might lead you somewhere. Is it you? Is it me? Warmer. Warmer. Yes. 
Oh, oh my gosh. No, not extra. Did you just say extra? Extra. extra. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> I love this, the question marks. <laughs> no, like, what? What did it say? Read what it says. Wrote extracted data to the secret to dot text te dot txt. <laughs> Get for his gum. <laughs> so it wrote the extracted data to the secret to dot txt another file. So where's the file? Just go look around. Dad, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. no, no. The, the secret, secret to. Message doesn't eat. I saw the tape. You are getting a... What? <gasps> We're getting Apple Watches!